Alright, so we are going to do the basic French nail or French tip actually and you will see that I've already done it down with my three fingers. Actually, I'm going to do this design but I thought that it would be nice to share to you how to do a perfect, really easy, um, clean French tip. So what you will be needing is a very, very good um, nail polish remover. Out of all the nail polish removers that I have used in the past, I think that OPI definitely is the best. It doesn't have a smell, it doesn't stink up your room, and it really does the job. And it saves you um, money, although it is a bit expensive. In the Philippines, it's about 175 pesos. So I think that would be like 5 um, US dollars or something. But I think that in the end, it actually... Um, saves you money because you don't need to use a lot of this a little goes a long way um, you need this um, you also need your white uh, nail polish I would have preferred to use the OPI one but I don't know where my white OPI um, polish is I lost it so I'm sticking with Orly it's quite good but I still think that OPI is better of course um, a fast dry top coat I OPI has one but it's very expensive and I don't see the I don't see why I have to spend that much money on top coat it's more expensive than the it's twice as expensive as the regular polishes that they have and you will be needing a really 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 good brush all right so what you need to do and, and if it's in synthetic ooh, that was a tongue twister. Um, a synthetic brush is much better than any kind of brush. And I have this kind of dispenser. This is actually a beauty blender cleanser. I like it because of the pump um, thingy. So I use that because if I put it in a cup, you know, it's like you're using much more than you actually need. All right, so let's start this. Um, I've already done. I've already done. What is wrong with me today? I've already done the third, the three fingers. Um, we're doing the pinky and the ring finger. So I only um, put the top, the first one, the first coat, and I'm going to do another coat. And this part doesn't have to be even at all. And then just a couple of pumps from my um, nail polish remover and then you do this I think and you need also a good cotton pad that's been um, soaked in, in nail polish remover I think um, the best French tips are the one that has like a really good smile line. I don't like French tips that are um, straight because I think it doesn't look very professional. I'm happy with the French tip. I think it's nice and even. And you just need to clean this off. I'll just get my cock pad. Just need to clean this off. And on the sides as well. You really do need a good brush. Is it showing? And then on the other side. It's best to work on something that is still a little bit wet because when the polish dries up on you, it will be very, very difficult to to manage. Um, I did the first coat because my nails. Um, I already did the first coat because my nails are yellow at the tips and that's kind of embarrassing. Ooh, do 
you see it even? Ah, oh, dang it. I think there we go. So, that's it. If you want, um, if you want to keep your French tip like this, um, all you have to do is coat it with, um, top coat. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to, um, design it like this one. So, and when you clean off the sides, you just take your brush that's been dipped in, um, that's been dipped in a polish remover and clean it off. Or you can just wait for it to dry and, you know, it's very easy to, to clean and take out. Alright, so that's it. I hope that you learned something from this. Bye.